Hello everyone, welcome to Aftershoot. In today's video, we are going over how to correct AI mistakes made by Aftershoot when selecting images. We're not gonna get it 100% right every time, but we continue to learn and continue to adapt and adjust new algorithms to improve your culling experience. There are different ways that you can review your cull. We have your cull in method and your cull out method. I'm gonna go over some simple ways to simply correct the AI's mistakes, and then in turn, Aftershoot will be learning from you over time. So to get started, we're gonna go over the cull out workflow. This means I've decided that Aftershoot selected 52 photos. I don't want the 52, I wanna just fine tune that cull. So the first thing I'm gonna do is simply go through my images in this grid view and reject away the stuff I don't want. I can do this by either hitting the X key or in spray can mode, I can actually set it to reject the images I don't want. Now I can simply click on the photos that I don't want to be included and fine tune my cull this way. This is a great option for photographers who want to just reject away the excess stuff. I personally am gonna also use the period and comma key to cycle through and see what other options there are. Now in this case, I like both this main image that was chosen by Aftershoot, but I also like the candid joking photo that I took as well. So I'm gonna use the A key to add that back in. I want it to now take into account that I like this photo as well. Now in another use case, if I were to come across an image like this one that has a plus seven, I may decide that I wanna use the S key to simply swap out. I like the ball position a little bit better and the body position better on this photo. I know the flash didn't fire, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit the S key and actually swap them out because I think I'm gonna use the one that the flash didn't fire on just because I like the position a little bit better. Now our other workflow that's available to us is the My Selections workflow. And this is where I actually get to just pick my favorite images off of what the AI gave me. So in this case, the AI had given me 54 images and I'm simply gonna go through and pull out the ones that I really want, my favorites, by using the D key, that's my keyboard shortcut D, to add them to my selections or simply clicking on this little circle in the corner, I'm gonna teach the AI through my favorite images that it selected. And I'm gonna simply go through and pull out what I really want to take into my editing. And so by simply clicking on the keyboard shortcut D or checking that circle, I can now choose the images I want to be put in my selections. And in the case that I come across an image like this, where I wanna see the alternate versions, I still have the flexibility of using the period and comma key to simply cycle through and decide if I like an image better. Now in this case, I don't need to reject or do anything to the image that was selected by Aftershoot, but simply add this one to my selections. So now what I've done is taken one that wasn't selected by the AI and just put it into my selections. So the AI will start to learn that that was the wrong selection instead of having to swap it. Now in this case, I want all of these, right? So I'm gonna add these to my selections because I want all of that dirt flying around. I'll do some Photoshop magicry here, um, some Photoshop magicianry to get all of these photos put together and looking the way I want. But I'm simply adding all of these selected images into my bin for 